Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with 20 fragrances that I am really excited to wear this summer. So I it finally dawned on me and I guess because it's starting to actually get hot out here now. Um, we still up until last week were having really some like really cold weather. Um, temperatures dropping down into the 30s at night and then only getting up into the like high 60s and low 70s which is crazy for the south where I live. Um, but we're finally getting up into the 80s and 90s this coming week so um, and weekend so I'm so excited and I thought you know what summer is coming up on us quick and so I thought I'd better get a summer fragrance video out for you. Before I start though, um, I know that I had talked about this wax company and this is like, this is just me wanting to tell you about this thing because it is so good and I think that a lot of you will appreciate it. In one of my previous videos, I had talked about a, a little Etsy shop called Wicked Wax Studio and she sent over a whole bunch of like, samples of wax melts and she sent a couple full-size melts and one of the ones that she sent this is a new one I believe that she started making it's called here comes the sun and this is a, a bum bum cream or the boom boom cream scent it is that pistachio caramel um, yumminess <laughs> anyways I finally put this in my burner maybe like a few I don't know uh, maybe like a week ago you guys holy cow if you want your house to smell like that boom boom cream this smells almost exactly like it it is amazing um, you know it's always kind of a hit or miss with wax melt some of them are they'll smell good for like a few days but then you can't really smell them anymore after that or they're just not strong enough to like fill a big room uh, this one, I just wanted to mention it to you guys because it is so good. I've been, I've had it in my warmer for about a week. And you can see I only used two squares of it. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I only used two squares of it. And I've had it in my burner for like a week. And every time I fire that thing up, my whole house, or well, not my whole house, my whole living room, it, like into my kitchen smells like bum bum cream and it's amazing so I just wanted to tell you guys about it because it's so so good I have been testing this one this has been my absolute favorite it smells amazing and it really does fill up a big room um, so it's called here comes the sun from wicked wax studio if you guys want your house to smell like boom boom cream here you go I just had to mention it because it's amazing okay Let's get into some summer fragrances. I have 20 here, so this is probably gonna be a long video, but I was going through my collection, looking at everything that I'm really excited to wear, pulling out everything that I'm really excited to wear, and I just, it got out of hand, it got up to 20. So I'm gonna start off with some really affordable fragrances. These are two fragrances that I absolutely love. Performance on these, is not great, especially this first one. This is called Korloff Gold, and you can see just what a big dent I have put in this already. It did come completely full. Okay, so Korloff Gold, this is like a in the $20 range fragrance. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is like a, it's like a beachy smelling fragrance, kind of borderline suntan lotion smelling coconut tiare flower that kind of deal oh my gosh it is so good i adore this i do have to spray this on though about every two hours so i think i only wore this a couple times last summer and that's how big of a dent i put in it because i would wear it when i was at home and i was like constantly reapplying it um i just got this bourbon vanilla uh body oil from a com if you guys are interested in a little haul from this little place called I think it's called uh, let's see yeah it's called Sugarworks Beauty Lab um, I would not have known about it had my perfume fairy not sent over some rollerballs of it for me but I went on the website and I checked it out myself I ended up buying this um, bourbon vanilla body oil and I think that this will layer over that bourbon vanilla body oil. In fact, I've got it on today, so let's just, oh my gosh, this is so good. 
I love this fragrance so much. It's yummy. It's sweet. It's like the beach. It's so good. So I'll let you guys know at the end of the video how this does. But anyways, Coral F Gold, gorgeous, affordable, yummy, beach, summer, hot weather scent, just pretty poor performance. Okay, and then another Korloff fragrance is, this is a gorgeous one. I love this one so much. This is called Korloff Miss, and uh, this one is more, oh my gosh, I love this. This one is more, um, this is a fruity fragrance. It's like a light, airy, bright, crisp, fruity fragrance, and I adore it. It is about like the gold though, um, as far as performance goes, you really have to reapply this often throughout the day, but it smells so amazing. Both of these, the performance is really bad on these, but I keep them in my collection because they're fragrances that smell so amazing that I am totally willing to just use these as like home fra or you know fragrances that I wear when I'm at home and I just reapply them often. I've got a pretty good dent in this one as well. Um, in fact, about, well, gold has a bit of a bigger dent, but this one is a pretty big dent because I did, again, only wear it a couple times last year. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, you have to reapply quite often. You'll get maybe two hours out of these, if you're lucky, before you have to reapply. Oh my gosh, but I love them so, so much. And for the price, they're totally worth it. I mean, they're like in the $20 range. So anyways, that is Miss Korloff. Okay, moving along to an oldie, but a goodie. This is Lo de Issy from Izzy Miyake. And oh, I love this. This is like a watery, somewhat aquatic floral. The lasting power on this one is not great either. It's... um. It's better than like either of the Korloff fragrances, but it's still not great. This is a fragrance that will take me back. Um, one of my old boyfriend's mother used to wear this fragrance, and I remember back then it was an absolute beast. Like She would smell like this all day, apply it in the morning, and smell like it all day. Um, it's not like that anymore. Unfortunately, it has been reformulated and it just does not have the longevity like it used to, but I love this. It's just such a beautiful 90s, crisp, aquatic almost, floral. I love it. So that is Lo de Izzy from Izzy Miyake. Okay, these are like in no order. This is gonna be kind of a crazy no order video, but Okay, the next one I'm really excited to wear is Eau de Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford, which this, or gold gives me vibes from, or gives me Soleil Blanc vibes, honestly. Um, they're similar type fragrances, and ugh, I love Soleil Blanc. Um, I really wanna find a bottle of the original this one is beautiful. I still love it. This one is more floral though. And the original is more like sweet pistachio. They're still very, very similar. This one's a little brighter, crisper. The longevity on this one is not great. Uh, the longevity on the original Soleil Blanc was good for me. I would get at least six, eight hours out of it. This one, mm, I get between four to six hours out of it. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Um, I just love this fragrance though. I always have. It's one of my favorite Tom Ford fragrances of all time. I love the combination of the flowers and the pistachio and the solar notes. Ugh, it's just so good. It's summer in a bottle to me and I absolutely love this and I always get compliments when I wear it. So that is Eau de Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. Okay, next we have got a Guerlain. This is technically a men's cologne, but I love this. I especially love it in hot weather. This is Lom Ideal Cologne, and this has been discontinued, um, but I think you still can find it relatively easy. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. This is like lemon and almonds. It's this very weird, or not weird, but it's this very kind of unique, crisp lemon citrus, tons of citrus in the top, and then this almond, this like very slightly powdery almond note. And together, it is like the most beautiful, crisp, yummy, slightly warm, fragrance. I just love it. So that is Lama Ideal Cologne from Guerlain. Oh, longevity on this guy is really, really good too. This is one that uh, I wear to work in the summer or in the warm weather. Really, I'll wear this any time of the year because this is a good like all, all year round fragrance, but I particularly love wearing it in the summer and it's one that I can wear to work and know that it's gonna get me through my entire 10 hour shift. So wonderful performance with this one. I really, really love it. It's just a great fragrance. So again, Lom Ideal Cologne from Guerlain. Okay, next we have an Alien Flanker. This is possibly my most favorite Alien, I love it. Uh, this is Alien, mine is a tester, so it does have notes on the side, oh, well, not notes, but um, some writing on the side. This is Alien O Sublime, and this is like a, uh, this is a summer version of Alien. It's Alien, but this has got like tiara flower in it. And again, with that kind of beachy, Mm. it's got that like beachy vibe but it's still alien through and through like you can still smell alien like a hundred percent this is another one that I can get this will get me through my entire 10 hour work day um, no reapplication needed it's total beast especially in the heat I absolutely love it it is I think probably my favorite alien flanker Ugh, I love it. So that is Alien O Sublime. Okay, next I have got a couple of do-off fragrances here. Um, this first one we're going to talk about is a one of their, it's from the Concept series, and it's one of their fragrances where they have taken two really popular fragrances, mixed them together, and made a really gorgeous fragrance. I get compliments on this every time I wear it. I absolutely love this. This is called Caribbean Casino, and... This is a mixture of Baccarat Rouge 540 with Virgin Island Water from Creed. Oh my gosh, and it smells amazing. This will last days. I'm not even kidding you. Like if you put this on and then didn't take a shower for like two days, you would still smell like this. It lasts probably the longest of any fragrance that I have in my collection, hands down. This is one of those that I can put this on and wear it all day one day, wake up the next morning, still smell it, get in the shower, wash myself, and still smell it when I get out of the shower. Like, it's crazy. But it's so good. This is yummy. It's got, it's got that kind of muskiness from the Baccarat Rouge 540. It's got the sweetness from that, but it's also got the crisp, crispness from the lime in the uh, Virgin Island water as well as the coconut from the Virgin Island water. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love it. So that is Caribbean Casino from Dua. And another Dua fragrance that I absolutely love. Um, I loved the original of this, but the original did not last very well. It lasted better than a lot of other Jo Malone fragrances, but still not as well as this one. This is Herbs and Sea Salt from Dua, and this is a clone of Wood Sage and Sea Salt from Jo Malone, which I loved. I've been through like a, I think a, 15 ml bottle of the wood sage and sea salt like years ago. I loved it. I missed it, but I didn't want to repurchase it because it did not last very well on me. So I went with the Dua and the Dua is gorgeous. It smells just like the Jo Malone, but it lasts so much longer. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And again, this will get me through a whole work day. I can spray this on and feel confident that I'm going to smell it for 
the 10 hours. I love it. It's one of the very few fragrances with salt in it that actually works on my skin that I can wear, so I love it for that reason. And it's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful fragrance. So that is Herbs and Sea Salt from Dua. Oh, gosh. Next, we have got a Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Flanker. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Um, this has so far been my favorite light blue flanker. Um, this has, uh, it's beautiful. This has a slightly gourmand aspect to it. I can't remember exactly what the notes are in this or what makes it different from the light blue, but I know it's got more like gourmand type notes in it. I love it. This has been my favorite light blue flanker. Um, the lasting power on this one is not great. So, and but the lasting power really on any light blue is not great. Um, so what I will be doing is I will be layering this over and let me grab it real quick. Um, I have this uh, our moth oil. This is called Tag Her Pour Femme. This is a dupe of light blue. And so I, anytime I want to wear one of my light blues or light blue flankers, I put this oil on first and then I layer my, my light blue over it. And that really, really helps with the longevity. So um, by itself, you'll get maybe three or four hours out of it. Um, that's what I get out of it layered over oil, it lasts a much, much longer. So yeah, that's kind of my secret to making a light blue last longer. So that is the Tag Her Pour Femme Oil from Armoff. You can find this on Amazon for like, I don't know, 18 bucks maybe. It's really inexpensive, so. Okay, next we have a Juliet Has a Gun fragrance, and I love this fragrance. I can't wait to wear this one. I haven't worn it since last summer, and I'm really excited to. This is Sunny Side Up from Juliet Has a Gun, and this is beautiful. This has like a coconut milk note in it, but this ends up smelling like fig on my skin. Something about how the notes are composed ends up smelling like fig. This is also one that it does turn into a skin scent quite quickly. Uh, Juliet has a gun fragrances aren't the like aren't known for projecting like crazy, but it is one that I can smell all day long. I have worn this to work before. It hangs in there. It I can smell it all day. It doesn't project all day, but I can smell it on myself for 10 plus hours. So um, I also do tend to overspray, so that probably has something to do with it. But I love this. It's just a beautiful, uh, almost, like I say, the way the notes are composed, it ends up coming off like fig on me. And I love it. So that is Juliet Has a Gun, Sunny Side Up. Next, we have a Dior fragrance, and I adore this fragrance, you guys. This is the most beautiful, light, delicate, floral fragrance. This is Dior Forever and Ever. I have this huge bottle. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle. It's huge. Now, I'm glad I have a huge bottle, though, because I do have to massively overspray this one. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good, though. If you overspray, you know, I'm talking like 10 to 12 sprays, you can get a good six to eight hours out of this. Um, it's not like the worst, but it's not, you know, it's not like a 10 plus hour fragrance for me. Oh my gosh, but yeah, I can definitely get like a good full day out of this. I just have to really, really overspray it. It's also not one that is going to project a lot. It's one that is gonna wear closer to you after the first couple hours, but it's one that I can smell all day, and it is the most beautiful, sweet, delicate, light, floral fragrance. Ugh, I absolutely love this one. It's fresh, it's feminine, it's really like, 
It's just a beautiful, delicate fragrance. I just love it. So that is Dior Forever and Ever. Next, we have a Victor and Rolf fragrance. I love this one so much. This is called Salty Flower, and this is from the Magic Collection. Um, I'm so glad I picked this up when I did. Um... This is one of those like beachy, beach white florals, solar notes, kind of a salty thing going on. It's one of those beach perfumes. This one though, the quality is so good. It's, it's like a step above anything else. It's definitely like a step above my Korloff. This is beautiful and it smells like the beach and it smells like suntan lotion, but something about the Victor and Rolf is just so, it's richer, it's deeper. It's just like more of everything. It's just such a good quality beach fragrance. Yeah, I just love this one. So that is uh, Victor and Rolf Salty Flower. Okay, next we have a Shalimar Flanker. This is my favorite Shalimar Flanker, Shalimar Flanker to wear in the summertime. It is so beautiful. This is Shalimar Cologne. And oh my gosh, this is citruses and vanilla. Like tons of citruses. I think it's got like lemon and lime and bergamot, possibly even grapefruit. And then this beautiful vanilla. It's such a gorgeous fragrance. Oh, I didn't talk about, sorry. Let me tell you about the longevity on this one first. So um, Salty Flower is a good six to eight hours. If I overspray this, I could easily wear this to work and get 10 plus hours out of it. Um, yeah, this is a good performing fragrance. I definitely don't have any longevity issues with that guy. Um, the Shalimar Cologne, this one, this one lasts for a really long time on me as well. I do tend to overspray this one. Uh, I just got this one not too terribly long ago, so I think I only gave it like one good wear test before it got cold. And, but yeah, I did overspray it and I did get a good eight hours out of this. Um, I am going to test this one wearing it to work this summer and we'll see. And when I do, you'll see it in a what I wore last week and I'll talk more about how it performed in, you know, that video after I'm able to wear it to work and give it a good wear test. So beautiful Shalimar Flanker. I love it. It's maybe my favorite Shalimar Flanker. It's just gorgeous. So that is Shalimar Cologne. Next, we have a Lanvin fragrance, and this is Lanvin Rumor 2 Rose, and oh my gosh, I love this one so much. This is such a beautiful, very, very citrus-heavy rose, and on me, this is an absolute beast. This lasts hours. I can wear this to work. It'll get me through an entire 10-hour workday. Oh my gosh, and it's just beautiful. It's crisp, it's fresh, it's modern. It's one of those that's like a rose for people that don't enjoy rose. It's very citrusy, it's very slightly sweet. This is not overly sweet. It's crisp, it's fresh, it's youthful, and it's all of those things in a fragrance that actually lasts, so. Like I say, I get tons of uh, longevity out of this one. It lasts a really, really long time on me, so I love this for that. Uh, so that is Rumor 2 Rose from Lanvin. Next, we have a niche fragrance, and this was sent over to me by the company, and I am in love with this one. This is from a little house called Aqua Dos Acoras, and this is called Flores. And this is the most beautiful, slightly sweet, beachy floral. And I, I, I really don't even want to. I really don't even want to categorize it as beachy because it is beachy, but this is more of like. 
if you imagine yourself on the like on a Greek island that's like a rocky beach, it's not like a you know white sand beach. This is like a Mediterranean like rocky <sighs> tropical beach, but without smelling overly tropical. It doesn't smell like suntan lotion. It doesn't smell like your typical beach fragrance but it is this beautiful tropical smelling floral. I love it, it's slightly sweet, like I said. It's very floral, it's fresh smelling, it's not synthetic smelling in any way. This smells like you are, like there is a beautiful coastal breeze that is picking up the scent of the flowers as well as the lush greenery around it as well as like as well as like the salty air it's just this whole <laughs> it's hard for me to explain this one it's it's a beachy fragrance that doesn't smell overly beachy it's got a strong green aspect to it it's very fresh, it's very crisp, it's almost got like an astringent quality to it. But at the same time, it does have a beautiful sweet floral quality to it as well. It's beautiful. The quality on this thing is outstanding. It's such beautiful quality. You can tell the materials used in this are just like a step above. It's just gorgeous. So anyways, that is Aqua Dos Acoras Flores. Next we have a new acquisition and this is a Pacifica fragrance and this is one that I've been excited to get into. This is Beach Lavender Lemon and... Oh, and let me tell you, um, this Flores, this lasts a really long time. This is definitely an eight to 10 hour fragrance like you could spray spray it on in the morning and you're still gonna smell like it when you get home uh, performance on this one is excellent so okay back to beach lavender lemon this is a beautiful yummy like lemon pie smelling lemon but with a crisp fresh herbaceous lavender note in it it's very natural smelling. It's really, really beautiful. It's like this, this gorgeous mixture of fresh, natural lavender with this yummy, sweet, like lemon drop lemon. Oh, it's so good. This one I also thought was like, I'm not gonna get any kind of longevity out of it. It's gonna be horrible. I'm gonna go through this bottle in five minutes because I'm gonna have to respray it like every 15 minutes. And this one actually surprised me. Um, I definitely, it's not like a beast or anything. You're not going to get more than a few hours out of it, but you definitely do get a good few hours out of it before uh, it turns into a complete skin scent. I have plenty of lavender lotions that I'm going to try to layer this over to see if maybe um, I can get some more longevity that way. And I also have my CO Bigelow Lemon perfume that's just like a straight lemon perfume that I'm going to layer with this as well. So this over the lavender lotion hopefully will bring out the lavender and then I'll put in spray in some more lemon and hopefully I'll get some good longevity with that like concoction. So anyways that is Beach Lavender Lemon from Pacifica. Such a good one. Next is one that I get excited to wear every summer because this is such a gorgeous fragrance and it smells so good in the heat. This is Ely Saab Girl of Now Shine and oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It smells pretty much just like Girl of Now, but this has a brightness to it. This has uh, some different flowers in it than the original Girl of Now and I think this also has some pineapple in it, if I remember correctly. I believe this has got some pineapple in it. So it's got this beautiful, juicy, like fruitiness to it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's very, very similar to Girl of Now, but like I say, it's a little bit brighter. It's juicier. It's uh, The flowers are a little bit different. I love this. I get compliments every time I wear this or the original. 
Um, it's just gorgeous. I love the color of the liquid. It just gives me, I don't know, like summer sun vibes. I love the bottle on this one with the gold. So that is Elisav Girl of Now Shine. Ugh. And these are absolute beasts on me. Um, I get, these are fragrances I can wear to work and I will still smell heavily after 10 hours. Like, no problem. These are beasts. Ugh. Elisab Girl of Now Shine. Next, we have a commodity fragrance. I love this one. This is the most beautiful, like, watery green fragrance. The only problem is the performance on this is horrible. Uh, so this is Commodity Rain and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It is, like I say, a very watery green. It's like a sweet green fragrance. Watery sweet greens. Oh my gosh, I love it because it does have a very slight sweetness to it, but I would absolutely categorize this as a green fragrance, which I don't have many green fragrances in my collection. This one is so stunning though. I think this has some flowers in it, but the flowers are not sweet. Uh, they're not sweet florals. These are like your kind of astringent smelling purple florals like hyacinth and at those types of florals. But to me, this is all about the green, the green, the sweet greens. It's so gorgeous. It's watery, it's beautiful. I have to overspray this, and even when I overspray it, like 10 to 12 sprays, um, I'll get about six hours out of it when I overspray it like that. Um, if you don't overspray it, you're probably only gonna get a few hours out of this. But I have worn this to work, and overspraying it, um, I can still smell it after 10 hours, but it's mostly just left on my clothing, And, but I love it. It's just going to depend on how much you apply, really, with this one, um, but I adore this. This is Commodity Rain. Okay, two more, you guys. I know this has been super, super long. The next one, I am so excited to wear this one this year. I didn't wear this one much last year because my husband really, really hates this fragrance, but I really, really love it. This is Shiseido Zen, and this really does have like a Chanel smelling DNA to it. I mean, you could throw this in a Chanel bottle and it would totally fit in with like Chanel. It's beautiful, it's musky, it's clean. It reminds me of, it honestly reminds me of like musky dryer sheets, like clean, warm laundry hanging in the sun and then add some like kind of perfumey musk to that. And that's what this smells like to me. It's just a beautiful, clean fragrance. This thing lasts absolutely forever. I can put on like two or three sprays and I will smell like this for the entire day. Um, I've never worn this one to work because I don't think this is a crowd pleaser. Um, I don't think that people would love this, but I probably am going to this year wear it to work and we'll see what kind of reactions I get. But I love it, beautiful, musky, clean fragrance. So that is, that is an absolute beast too. So that is Shiseido Zen. And then last but not least is a Zara Emotions fragrance and this is called Water Lily Tea Dress. And I just picked up the Water Lily Tea Dress Lotion. So I'm hoping to layer these and I'm hoping that by layering them, I will get more longevity out of this perfume. Um, this is beautiful. This is a this is a beautiful, crisp, watery green floral, kind of like the rain, but this is definitely more floral than the rain or than rain. Um, yeah, this is definitely 
floral and not with just like a touch of greenness. Again, it's those crisp, it's more of those crisp florals like Narcissus and Hyacinth and those very crisp watery florals that you almost have, that almost have like an astringent quality to them. That's what this is with just a hint of greenness in the background. Very, very fresh, very, very clean, very crisp. It's beautiful. This is probably my second favorite um, Zara Emotions fragrance. It's just the most beautiful, crisp, green, watery floral. I love it, so I can't wait to layer these. Um, you will see this combination in a What I Wore Last Week video, and I will update you on how um, on what the performance is like layered. So in fact, I might do that tomorrow. I'm, we'll see. Tomorrow or maybe the next day, I will test these. Both are work days for me, so we'll see how that works out. I might be disappointed. I might not smell like anything by the end of the night or the end of the day, but I might also be surprised. And the lotion smells exactly like the perfume. So I'm just super excited about that combination. So anyways, guys, those are 20 summer fragrances that I am so excited to wear this summer. Uh, you will definitely be seeing all of these in a What I Wore la Last Week video. Um, I am like dying to get these on my being and smell like these. So Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.